Hey everyone, welcome back to CAP TV. I'm Jesse, and tonight's episode is a very special one dedicated entirely to our seniors here at Capital University. We've got a packed show of exclusive interviews, a recap of a student's favorite college memory, and graduation news. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John Kerry here at WXCU Radio, and today I'm playing my radio show where I play my own music on this station, which is really cool if you get to do that. And I get a bunch of feedback from callers coming in, and it really helps me with the overall mastering and other mixing aspects of the original final product. And it's a really great experience to be here, so you guys should really definitely think about joining it because it's awesome. With the semester coming to a close, we went around campus to see what were some students' favorite memories throughout the school year. Let's take a look. My name is Madison Easton. I'm a junior here at Capitol. And my favorite memory, especially from last semester, was Cap TV, being in Cap TV. And we did a Halloween show where we all dressed up. I dressed up as Ellie Williams from The Last of Us, not Katniss, whatever the video may say. And Jay Pink, who was in Cap TV last year, or last semester, he dressed up as a sleepy guy. And it was a great time. I did not win the contest, though. Albert did, and I'm out for blood because of it. <laughs> my name's Elizabeth. I'm a junior. Um, and my favorite memory from this past year is probably taking my first solo trip. Um, I went to Seattle and Vancouver. It was awesome. Um, the worst thing that happened to me on that trip was that I had to throw away my pepper spray when I got to Vancouver because I didn't realize that uh, pepper spray is illegal in Canada. Um, yeah, so it's been a good year other than that. Hi, my name is Mila. I am a first year, and my favorite memory was literally making all the friends that I made and joining different organizations. Well, my name is Christina Schild. I'm a second year student. And my name's Maddie Dyer, and I'm a second year student. And our favorite memory this semester was the solar eclipse. Yeah, just getting everyone together and watching it was really fun. Uh, I'm Skylar Cash, and I'm a first year transfer to Capital. And uh, one of my favorite memories of being here is what I'm doing now, paint a vibration, where you get to pay to fundraise for Phi Beta by throwing paint at them or painting them. It's really fun. Uh, my name is Autumn Dennison, and I'm a senior at Capital University. My name is Alex Carlson, and I'm a senior at Capital University as well. Uh, my favorite memory is getting accepted to Capital University Law School. My favorite, favorite memory is also getting accepted into Capital University's Law School. And the thing that we're most looking forward to is living together for um, our law school careers for the next three years. Heck yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Bashra, I'm a second year student, and my favorite memory for this year so far would be the event that was hosted by WXC Radio. Um, it was really fun, and I got to see a lot of my friends, and we just had a really nice time. My name is Chelsea, I am a junior from the media production major, and my favorite memory from this year has been Cap TV on Wednesday nights with my friends. Hello, my name is Tadea, I'm a second year. My favorite memory is winning, winning the awards for student leadership. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Emmanuel Lane. I'm a junior here at Capitol, and my favorite memory was being around everybody when we beat Audubon and we won the OR. Yeah, I'm a coach. Yeah, I was excited. Yeah, we lit. <laughs> Let's go! Those were some great moments. My favorite memory of the school year has, has probably just got to be knowing that I'm getting ready to leave. <laughs> After this, we're going to take a quick break.
This is a Capital University public service announcement. sports it saves lives with commencement just around the corner there's a lot to get ready for up next we're going we've got all the latest graduation news important dates and what seniors need to know as they prepare to don their cap and gowns as you all know the, the end of the semester is fast approaching and there is many events that you should know about for example the day to get out of here. If you're not graduating this semester, you will need to be out of your dorm by the 7th of May. But if you're a graduating senior, you'll need to, uh, to have left your dorms by the 12th of May. And there's also so many other events before that, that April Day comes when us graduating seniors walk down the aisle and get our cap. Like there are many there are going to be many events before that fateful day when us graduating seniors will walk down the aisle and get our diplomas. Like so many different parties that it's hard to, to list them all, but here are a few highlights. We have cap decorating in the, in the week before then, which involves all of us seniors going down and decorating the caps that we will wear on our heads. We've got Grad Fest, another party. We've also got lottery tickets, so come and get it. We've got so we've got an end of the year party at our very own Trinity Lutheran Seminary as well. But before we get to that point, we can have all fun and games. We have one final boss to contend before before it is all over. What is that final boss? Finals. The final exam where you will take everything you've learned over the semester, over that past class, and then just take on the last test, which, will, which could make or break your grade. And, there are, and a lot of a test, it's not just what you learn, it's everything else about you, your mental capacity, what you eat, what you drink, how much you sleep. But don't you fear, I've got plenty of tips for you like, as I, as I alluded to earlier, get lots of sleep. Sleep is very important, so don't pull an all-nighter on the night before a final exam. Why not, Jason? Do you like the idea of falling asleep mid-test? Do you like the idea of, of writing down random gibberish because your brain doesn't work anymore? Do you like that idea, Aaron? Do I, you? I do not. <laughs> exactly. So get lots of sleep. If you've got something else to do, then do it before that hand. There is plenty of time in between now and finals. So if you have gotten to that point and still need to make your final 90-page uh, paper on what not to do at a stoplight, on the night before it's due and you have, to, you have to finish it the night before an exam, then that's your own problem. And we've got, and what other tips do I have in store for you? As I alluded to earlier, do not procrastinate. Coming from a master procrastinator myself, do not procrastinate. If you can knock it out of the way as soon as you can, then knock it out of the way. You'll, be, you'll thank me later if you take my advice. And there are just so many other pieces of advice. Find just a comfortable, quiet place to study. You obviously wouldn't want to study in a, a concert where there's loud music playing or, or study in a place where anyone and everybody could interrupt you. So just find a nice, quiet place where you can study and get things done. And while you're studying, it also helps to listen to some music, so find a playlist that you know won't distract you and can help you focus. So my personal recommendation, classical music. But everybody is different, so if you, can, if you can focus on hard rock, then listen to hard rock. And also, 
get rid of all of your distracting devices. Like for example, your video game consoles. Like it's kind of hard to study when you're playing your Nintendo Switch. Now what else do we got here? We've got, make sure you write some practice tests as well because if you're ready for the exam and you know and you know the material make some questions or get someone else to do it for you that way you at least then are practiced and ready to go for when the day finally comes and and also on the topic of of having someone help you get study groups work with the people in your class and they can help you and you can help them it is a, it's a, it's a dependency relationship and you all benefit from each other. And also two final tips, take lots of breaks. Don't wear yourself out too much. Just take, take a break when you feel like you need it and when you, and when you feel rested, get back to it. And last but not least, eat some good food. Eat some good food. So limit the, uh, the high fructose corn syrup drinks and the sugars and all that other stuff. Eat something that is good for your brain because this is the most important tool that you could possibly have in your finals week and any test you could possibly ever have. So, so take my advice, take care of your brain, take care of your body, take care of everything. And assuming you have the material ready to go as well in addition to the right uh, mindset, you will pass. Or you could do all these things and not pass at all. Everybody is different. So, as we say in the theater world, break a leg. Before joining Phi Beta, I was quite shy. Phi Beta has given me some of the most amazing friendships I could have ever asked for. It's a really beautiful thing that people can use their different art forms. You've been yearning to join. Before we wrap up tonight's show, we got a special interview with our seniors on CAP TV. They're here to talk about their experience at Capsule University. So firstly, it's, it's great to have you all here. Seniors, I mean, you must feel distinguished to be this close to the finish line. Uh, I just wanted to break into some questions for you guys. Um, I know you're not in CAP TV, so I'll kind of leave this to the rest of everybody here. What was your experience like in CAP TV? It's a love-hate relationship, honestly. Uh, I love working in CAP TV. With the cameras, all the shows, all the scripting we have to do, like different themes for shows. It's great, but then organizing the show is a, <laughs> it's a, sure. it's a problem. But yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that only <laughs> There were just so many times where we have shows and uh, we have to scramble at the last minute to get things to work properly. Right. It could be someone called off at the last minute. It could be uh, someone needs to print off the script. It could be because we don't have a, all the packages we need and they're exporting out. There's just... There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, point is, there's a million and one things that could go wrong at Cap TV and can be pretty stressful. But once we get all the pieces finally fitting together, it's really satisfying to make a successful product. Wouldn't you all agree? Yeah, yeah. So, strong words. Yeah. Yeah. Jaden, uh, let's dive into some of your experiences with Cap TV. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, Cap TV was, Cap TV was great. Uh, I've never like been on camera before this, and now it's something that I'm more than comfortable doing. Um, working on packages, learning how, to, <laughs> learning how, <laughs> learning how to edit, um, meeting a lot of cool people, being able to network with them and partner up, like with Albert, um, and had great professors. Shout out to Rochelle and Big Will. Big uh, Will. <laughs> Big Will. <laughs> yeah, they were great, uh, and they created an environment where you know learning was um, fun, and you know I actually wanted to be here, so yeah, it was cool. Mella, please. Yeah, I would just say, like, 
it's fun coming to Cap TV because it's the one class that we like get to choose and be creative in. You know, all the other classes are like mandatory. It's like we gotta do all these assignments, but like this is like the free space, the creative space. So I really enjoy it. Sure. I mean, I think what I'm hearing from everybody is you love the loose sort of nature with it. Yeah. How you're yeah. able to build what you yeah, want definitely. out of this program. And that leads me into more of a broad question here. And I'll, we'll start off with Olivia because mm -hmm. you were a little disprivileged with that first question. <laughs> um, broadly speaking, film and media, what has that been like here? Yeah, so I'm actually not a film major, but I'm emerging media, but I've taken a lot of film classes with the program. Um, super great, a huge, broad range of subjects that we cover, everything from editing um, to taking advanced video class right now. So it's really great to just cover kind of all of those bases and really become kind of a jack of all trades in the program. Sure. Well, I've, uh, I'm not in the film and media production major, but I have taken many classes in the program to the point where I almost consider myself an, a minor in, in, in name own unofficial minors, sure, that's sure. what I'm looking for. And I've, and I've enjoyed all those classes. I like all the, uh, the, the way they were uh, presented and uh, how it was more uh, portfolio project-based. Right. I enjoyed that, and I learned... Uh, a lot about how to work many programs such as uh, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition, just to name a few. Really learn how to uh, record audio with a microphone and uh, a lot of other things. And uh, it's been a it's been a blast. And uh, if anyone at home is uh, think about uh, taking some film media production classes, I highly recommend it. From Capital. Yeah. yeah. From Capital. Now, from Capital. Yes. <laughs> so, Albert, yes. dive into that a little bit. You know, you consider it's yourself... Been a long, it's been a long journey. Big film guy, yeah, sure. It's, well, I started off as a computer science major. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, um... Pasco. You, you, sure. And Albert, yeah. 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 I just, I love movies, so like, you know what, like, let's take a chance and say, let's do some film. And I did, took a couple classes yeah. during the computer science era and I loved it and from there it just went through the whole year till now it's been great I met a lot of cool people all of you obviously shout out to the the room in there shout out to Big Will and uh, Big shout Will. out to my boy Jaden it's, it was a big year for us sure. we, we found each other <laughs> we bonded yes. we did so adorable <laughs> you know film and media well, capital yeah. makes that happen Phil, it's been it's been like a long ride Editing wise, I was not good at all. Right. If I look back at some of my old things, they suck. Right. But right now, I can be proud to show a couple things, and the teachers were great. Uh, shout out to Rochelle. Uh, shout out to Sabrina. Who else? Mm -hmm. Nathan. Love Nathan, <laughs> even though he doesn't yeah. like me that much. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been, it's been a wild ride. Yeah, so the only two classes I've taken in film media is this class and FMP. Okay. Uh, well, not FMP, but CAP. No, WXCU. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. The pre-professionals, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love WXCU because it allows me to like, be creative, make my own shows, play my own music, and things like that. And then same thing with here because I do have a photography background mm. and a podcast background, so I love that Capital lets us do that here. Uh, Jada. Yes. Talk to him. Hey, what about uh, your film and media journey? Yeah. Uh, I, myself, I started off as a music tech major. I was at my first two years, and then I switched to my junior year. But, um... And being in this department, um, it's provided me with opportunities I never thought I'd have. Um, being able to meet a lot of uh, awesome people and build bonds that I'm hopeful will last, you know, after I've graduated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was cool to, you know, be a part of and have people with similar interests uh, as me, be able to, you know, just talk and work together. And um, yeah, it was cool. So I'm going to let whoever sort of jump into this question here, and, you know, we all have the CAP TV background, but everybody's favorite project, it could be in CAP TV, it could be other classes, what would that be? Ooh, honestly, for me, it wasn't for school. Uh, favorite project for me, it was one with me and Jaden did, it was called I Am, basically uh, highlighting uh, black excellency, uh, black beauty, and the black women. It was a great experience. I'm pretty. You were there. We're part of it. You, you enjoyed. It. We all enjoyed the experience. It was fun. Uh, Jay, you can talk about that more. Yeah, it was. Um, it was an idea I had. I have four sisters, and so um, I wanted them to have something they could look at. You know, whenever 
um, they have self-doubts or anything like that. They can see it and feel empowered. Mm. Um, and so I brought the idea to Albert because, you know, at the time I was still kind of transitioning from my major, so I was still learning how to do things. So I reached out to Albert, who had a little more experience than I did, and that's something that we were able to collaborate on, and I was able to learn from him. Um, and so, yeah, it was that's probably the proudest thing that I've made myself, honestly. Yeah. So. That sounds like something you'd be proud of. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay. For me, I'd have to say probably the 48-hour film festival. It was yeah, super yeah, fun. Yeah, was Such a great time. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was, I made some friends, some lifelong friends during that, um, and it was really neat just to see. We were given this small constraint of time, and it was really neat to just see what everyone put together for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was really yeah, proud of the absolutely. work I did for that. I yeah. guess one of my biggest uh, regrets at Capitol is that I never got to participate in the 48-hour mm -hmm. film festival. I wanted to, but uh, COVID played a large part in that. Mm. I came here to Capitol in 2019. I took the equivalent of an entire year off, and now I hear, here I am ready to graduate, and I still have yet to participate in the 48-hour film festival, and unless they let alumni in, then I can't participate <laughs> anymore. Plenty of regrets, but projects. What's, what's your favorite? What do you look back and you love? Mm. Just in film and media, just or... Just that you've done, you know, with Cap TV or in the film sort of realm, or just at Capitol. <clears throat> this is a really tough question. If you had told me about this earlier, I may have been able to think of a better answer, but there is just so much that I've, d that I've done. There's so much that I feel good about that I'm worried if I, if I pick something, I'll be... I'll, I'll change my mind after we're done rolling. How about we'll circle back to you? <laughs> Mel, what, what do you Good idea. Yeah. Um, Let that one stew a little bit. I missed the dating show this year, which I'm sad. But I watched it, and you were hilarious. I <laughs> 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 Thank you. Too kind. Yeah. Too kind. Too kind. Too kind. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good, but I was going to say, I think it was my sophomore year, right? Yeah. We did uh, the dating show. We tried to mix, like, um, What's that one day show where you can't see the other person? I think it's like Love is Blind, Love is blind wow. and then The Bachelorette. Like I we kind of did a mashup. Yes, you were. And I really did enjoy that. That was fun. That was really yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, Take of anything? I guess that for, the, for this semester, I think the, uh, the best thing that I worked on was the, uh, believe it or not, the talent show. Mm. Strong talent show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that show could have... Uh, what, on the day before, hours before we shot that thing, it looked like almost looked like it was going to be a complete dumpster Ooh, fire. Wow. We we were <laughs> we were weak look. We uh, were stressing uh, out. We were sure, stressing yeah. out. We we were struggling to find people, and but some way somehow everything came together in the end, and we made it work. So I feel that's I feel, Cap TV league. Yeah, you know, I feel really yes. good about that. It wasn't sure. it wasn't just me. It was our other produce. It was the other producers. It was uh, in fact. I give it to the entire class and uh, for find for finding people and uh, just uh, making everything fall into place. Yep. That segues well to my next question I have for almost all of you. Sorry, Olivia, we're gonna <laughs> get you out of this one again. But I guess from what you've experienced, everybody can contribute to this. What is everybody's favorite Cap TV show that they've watched? It could be this semester, any semester you've been a part of it or not a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, for me, uh, probably Family Feud. Sure. Uh, I, which one, if I may ask? Um, the first one was first probably one was the best one. Uh, check that out, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it got nominated for a few Emmys, you know. <laughs> just check it out. But yeah, I got to I got to host and um, got to give my best little Steve Harvey impression. And you did. Yeah, yeah. I sure did. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I know this is an interview, but I would like to go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's talk about the sports show from last semester. Uh, Check that one out. Yeah. That's a good one. Strong one. That was my first time being on camera. Cap TV really facilitates, you know, where you're able to either be behind it or be in front of it. And that's what I love about this class. But mm -hmm. Olivia? I do have to agree with Jaden. I had a blast watching all the Family Feud episodes. Yeah. So good. Very binge worthy. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, for sure. Uh, for me, for me, uh, it definitely would be the music shows, like all of them. Sure. Most of them were like they were great. All of the guests were amazing. Uh, KJ, Micah, uh, Wes. He's directing in <laughs> there, but he was he was amazing. Hi, like, Wesley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the music show as yeah. well, because I'm like, wow, they really can sing, and they have, like, talent. Sometimes yeah. you don't know the talent you have on campus until you bring it up here. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I, get, I guess I'd have, I mean, I've done a lot of shows, and I really enjoyed all, my favorite parts are, be, are the panels, kind of like this, where we just discuss a topic, like a lot of the, the movie shows that I've yeah. done, and I'm, a, and I'm really sad I didn't get to do one more movie show before leaving, but I guess my... 
I guess at this point, the crown, my crowning achievement would be my conspiracy theorist show I did mm. a couple semesters back. Mm -hmm. That was pretty much a, an idea that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it finally got voted on. And that was just, that was just a lot of fun to do of just, just making this outlandish show full of nonsense just to have fun and to, and to have a big laugh. Just yeah. like... Doritos are made of Pringles. <laughs> that was an interesting show. Giggles were had <laughs> by all. I think I could speak Oh, yeah, I changed my mind. Actually, my favorite show was sophomore year, and we had a fashion show. Oh, very nice. I had brought out a red carpet, and there was this dude that I met literally that same exact day who oh, was an yeah. entrepreneur yeah. at Ohio State, and he got to bring, like, we had models here, and he got to show off his clothes and his pieces, and it's now on his page. That was a really cool wow. moment. And yeah. it was the first time I did an interview. Wow. I was like, wow, I really love doing interviews. So it's great. Well, first here in Cap TV, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, some, uh, as much as I would love to dive into the question of, you know, what you would recommend for future, future seniors, you know, I mean, I'm about to be a senior, oh. you know, mm -hmm. feel, feel old, you know, so I want to get some wisdom here, <laughs> but, you know, let's, a few people, let's give, give some advice. The program is what you make it. So reach mm -hmm. out for those opportunities. Find those things. Find your people. Make stuff outside of class. Go mm -hmm. that extra mile. That's how you're going to learn the most and get the most out of this program. I agree with Olivia. Yeah, I agree with Olivia. Yeah. Find your people. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been a, again, it's been a long year. We are tired, but yeah. I am very happy I met all of you. Yeah. And the fact that we're all, like, friends now and yeah. we can actually bond with each other and just talk for hours, which is great. And uh, just try anything. Like, if, mm -hmm. if you're not good at it, just try it. Like, you'll see. Maybe yeah. you suck at it. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're, like, you're a genius at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until you separate yourself. Is yeah. that what I'm hearing? Yeah. yeah. I agree with Albert. Uh, what I was going to say is uh, I know, you know, it can be harder for some people who are maybe a little more introverted. But, uh, you know, putting yourself out there and meeting new yeah. people, like, uh, they stress the importance of networking here. But even... Even like in an informal setting, just hanging out with people in the same age as you is a form of networking within itself. And you're able to yeah. create bonds that you never would have thought you had if you didn't kind of like take that leap and be like, hey, you know, uh, this project's coming up. I was wondering if maybe you want to partner up on it, you know, something like that. Sure. And then suddenly you created a bond, you know, for future stuff you do as well as gain a friend. So, yeah. you know, something like that is cool. Let's go ahead and do a little speed run round here. I want to talk to everybody, you know, about to graduate, about to get your degree. I'm sure that's what you've had as your what's next. But after that, what's next? Mella? Um, so, yeah, I'm planning on going to law school. I'm spending this entire summer on vacation. Awesome. Mm -hmm. out. Build that. Albert? Working. We are working. Oh, and working. going full on. Just like yeah. we are getting things full steam done. Ahead. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. A combination of working and uh, trying to figure out the answer to that very same question. Sure. And if I can, get into it to my town's community theater production. All right. But if I can't, then just figuring things out because uh, growing doesn't end when you get that cap and gown yeah. and that diploma. Now, Olivia. Sure. Yeah, uh, working. I'm joining the uh, media relations team at Ohio Health. Awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Now, Jaden. Uh, yeah, same as everybody else. Working. Uh, me and Albert are actually partnering up to do some freelance stuff. Oh. So, looking forward to yeah. getting nice. some stuff done. What about you? Man, uh, you know, do my last year, then figure out what's next after that. You know, um, it's going to take it one step at a time. You but got a year. That's everybody, that's, I would like to thank do. everybody for tuning into Cap TV tonight. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, um, not yet. <laughs> we are, there's still more to talk about, honestly. No. Uh, I would say, yeah. all right, let's just go wrap it up right let's now. Let's go wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, right. we're gonna wrap it up. Everybody, yep. so glad you're able to join us yeah. tonight. I want to wish the seniors in this program the best of luck in the future. You know, we got a couple weeks left, and then they're out of here to pursue what they're doing. Uh, yeah, look well, look at everybody here, you know, doing a little doing some thing. little moves here. I'm a junior, I can't be a part of that, unfortunately. All right, seniors on three. Seniors on three. Come on, Jane. Right. Oh, yeah. One, one, two, two three. three. Seniors! 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 Seniors!